Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been, oh my gosh, like what, like a year or more since I've posted a video. So um, I am super excited to be back and um, I've got an apartment tour for you guys. So um, a lot of you actually said yes to my poll on Instagram about seeing an apartment tour. So this is for you guys. And even if I like wasn't gonna post this on YouTube, um, I did kind of want to do an apartment tour and just keep it for like my records and my memory just because I really did have so much fun living here for the past year and I just kind of like you know want to remember this apartment and like remember exactly what it looks like and you know things that I did in certain spots and you know like I just I really had a lot of fun here so um but I definitely should have filmed this you know a year ago when I moved in or at least before getting a dog um, but it's okay so here we are um and then I did start packing up a little bit since I do have to move um, by next Friday so um, a week from tomorrow but I did unpack or I'm sorry start packing up the linen closet which was just like filled with like extra makeup and extra skincare that I'm not going to be using for the next month or so and then in the laundry room, um, kind of the same thing. It was just like um, Christmas and Thanksgiving decor and um, just like extra things that I had kind of just stuffed around that I've kind of pack routed up for the last year. So, um, but before, you know, I got everything else out, like things that I use every day, um, furniture and um, all of my pictures and stuff off the wall, I definitely wanted to film this, this video. So let's get to it. Okay, so you don't have to tell me that the hallway looks like it's out of The Shining because I already know it is a little scary, but um, it's a very long hallway. But here I am at 12.05.
when you come in the front door, which is here. Um, I've got this kind of set up here. I've got some little wall hooks, um, you know, where all the masks go. Um, and then my purse and then all of Bluebee's things. Um, I do have fake plants because Lord only knows I can't keep anything alive. Um, we do have Blue's water bowl and food bowl. The fridge, which actually I think is a little tiny. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not, but I'll open it up for you guys. Um, so it's, I just feel like it's kind of tiny or maybe I just have a lot of stuff in there. I'm not really sure. Um, and then I have one thing that I absolutely love about this apartment is the fact that the kitchen is amazing. Um, there's lots and lots of cabinet space. So um, we have the two pantries here and then just tons of cabinet space. Um, and then another thing that I like that a lot of people haven't seen yet is the fact that my microwave is down here. And then stove. Um, and that's that's the kitchen over there and then here is the island um there's the dishwasher sink under the sink and then this is kind of where we sit and we eat because we don't have a place for a dining room table but that's you know kind of what i love about the kitchen is that it is so big and it's it's really pretty um, a cool thing about this is is that we do have our garbage can here I know that it's kind of like an eyesore a lot of people have been asking me like whenever they come over like why don't you move it you know underneath the sink but it doesn't really fit and we do have to use that one because that one is from Greenway and if you set it outside of your door when it's full um, with the lid open they will come and pick it up for you each night and then you kind of walk right into the living room. The living room is um, much smaller than the kitchen, but that's okay because I spend a lot more of my time in the kitchen even when I am entertaining. Uh, so we've got the tiny little couch. I actually got this on Facebook Marketplace for $10 and then put a um, Amazon white cover over it. Um, I've got this little boogie board here. Um, as most of you know, I am obsessed with the beach. So um, that's kind of the theme of my whole apartment. And then um, we've got this rug. I think I got it from Walmart for like $80. Now this was an adorable coffee table from Facebook Marketplace for 10, but um, Blue did you know, start to chew everything. I got him when he was 11 weeks old, so. Um, this actually is a tire, um, and then I put, um, like CV, I think it's CVP or CV, I don't know what it's called, but it's wood on the inside. So I, I put um, two circular pieces of wood to cover the tires inside and then wrapped it with twine and hot glue. Um, I made two of them, one's out on the balcony. Um, this is my favorite bucket chair ever. So many people ask me, you know, where did you get it? Well, Facebook Marketplace, I picked it up for free. Somebody set it out for the trash um, and it is beautiful. It's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it and I love it. Um, I did look it up there. They sell one on Pottery Barn, but of course Pottery Barn is kind of expensive, um, but I think they had it retail on Pottery Barn for for 80 if I'm not mistaken, but I will try and find the link and link it for you guys below. Um, pompous grass are, they are just the most in thing right now. Um, but that is actually not like real, like pompous grass. Um, I got it from Michael's and I just really liked the color. So I just stuck it in a vase. Um, that is an old photo of me that I took when I lived in Florida, um, back in what, 2017. 2016 something like that um, so I took that video or I took that picture um, and then we've got this adorable little entertainment stand I got it from Amazon for like $70 um, it just kind of all tied in and then all of these cute little vases um, I actually got from the dollar store and I made them um, myself so I painted the orange and the white ones and then the um, twine looking ones I wrapped them and then I've got my big TV. I do have it on a swivel mount, um, which is great because you can move the TV. So um, I've only had to move it a couple of times like when I was entertaining, but other than that, I haven't really had to move it too, too much. Um, this is kind of Bluebee's corner. Uh, so we've got his toy box. Um, I got that from Marshall's for like $30. And then I've got his bed. Um, it's a Serta. He's already chewed a hole in it. We paid like $30 for it. Um, this little pillow I was actually getting rid of. I had it sitting on my bed for the longest time. But um, I was getting rid of it. And Zach was like, just keep it for Blue because he was just so small. He like curled up in it. Well, now he humps it. Um, and he's also torn all the stuffing out of it. So I'm 
just gonna throw it away when we do go to move. And then of course my big huge mirror that um, a lot of you recognize. Um, I got it from Ikea for about $150 um, and it has been a very trust, trusty mirror. I've had it for about three or four years now. The laundry room. So we do have front loaders which I actually love. I never had a front loader before. My parents have always had top loaders uh, but I really do like front loaders. I think they look very beautiful and I think they're really nice. Um, so just ignore the fact that I've got boxes everywhere. You guys know that I'm moving. Uh, so there's the dryer, washer and dryer. And then there is a good amount of space up here. Um, the only thing that I really didn't like about this is that there is no light fixture up here. I've got recessed lighting in the apartment, just not in here. Um, and I didn't really have any room for shelving if I needed to kind of put something up. I mean, I guess I could have put it back there, but. Yeah, so that's the laundry room. So this is the hallway. Um, the only thing I don't like about the hallway is that I feel like this gray is kind of dark, um, especially because there's only one light in here and there aren't like any plugs um, or any outlets to do anything, but I do like it. Um, and then I did take that photo from Pinterest. Um, I just kind of downloaded the image and just um, printed it. I liked it a lot. And then this one is actually one that I made for my mom and I um, when I moved out. This is something that we have said to each other since I was about, I don't know, four or five. Um, we have said this to each other for years and years and we still do it. So uh, she has it hanging in her room and I've got it in my hallway. Um, here's the linen closet. So it used to be a lot more packed, but um, you know, since we are moving, uh, pretty much everything is gone. Um, this bin just has things in it for what I'm gonna be using for the next like month or so. So it has like extra shampoo and conditioner in it, body wash, um, like extra skincare if I need like a one bottle or something runs out, nail polish remover. It's just got like little stuff like that in there. Um, I did obviously keep out some towels, but there's a lot in the dirty laundry that I have to do today. And then a suitcase. Um, um, and then next we've got the bathroom. Um, so the bathroom is actually a pretty good size. So there's the sink and then under the sink. And then we've got Zach's um, stuff over here, like what he uses on a daily basis. And then mine. Um, yeah, we've got a scale in here, which I don't use. I'm not a fan of scales. It's really not about your number. It's about how you look and feel. Um, I got this idea off Pinterest. I got the basket from Amazon. I got two for 20. And then I just kind of filled it like with rolled up towels. Um, I got this picture from Ikea. It was sold as is. Um, and there was like a crack in the back. I just put a new cardboard piecing on the back and it was perfectly fine. Um, my toilet. <laughs> And uh, this cute little thing I got from TJ Maxx for about $30, I think. So I use it for all of the feminine products. Um, and that's about all I use it for. And then the shower is very nice. I do love the shower. Um, so I actually do have a handicap unit. So this shower head actually comes off which is super nice because I don't think any of the other units do that and then like this black thing will move up and down to like pick a height but it is a pretty nice sized tub um, so I really do enjoy enjoy that and then over here I do have overflowing laundry and then these photos I wish that was me, but it's not. And then I took both of those from Pinterest and then I just printed one of those. And next we have my bedroom. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in. We've got blue bees. This used to be actually where his cage was. Um, I took his cage down when we stopped caging him. So I just kept um, his little baby bed and then put his blanket over it. And he actually prefers that bed. Um, this cute thing I got at TJ Maxx, I think it was $40 if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
And then the dresser I actually found for free on Amazon, or Amazon, uh, Facebook Marketplace. I'm not actually a dresser kind of girl. I never had one. I always had a closet or wardrobes growing up. Um, but for this apartment, since it was a little bit smaller, I was like, I'm definitely going to need a dresser. So this one fit perfectly. Um, and then I've got like all of my things going on here. I did get rid of a lot of glasses and sunglasses here recently. So there are... And then again, we've got the beach pictures. And then here is my office. Um, it used to, before I started working for Mercy, I did have my Mac desktop there, which that's where I did all my blogging and things for neutral elements. But, um, you know, since then I did have to move because that, you know, I need to work for Mercy. So um, that is the Mercy desktop there. And then I've got my um, laptop and like all of my other stuff there that I work on every day. Um, and then of course, a chewed up chair courtesy to Blue who is just hanging out. <laughs> um, and then I've got my closet. I've actually taken a lot of stuff out of this closet recently just because of moving. So that's not even half the shoes that we have. Um, I filled up three boxes full of shoes and then we've got an entire um, plastic bin underneath the bed full of shoes. And it like lined that entire like back wall. And then I've got this beautiful mirror here. I love it. I got it from TJ or I got it from Marshall's actually for about $20. I think it was. Um, so I actually love this mirror. I feel like it's at a perfect height. I get ready in it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so in this balcony, um, it's, I mean, as you guys can tell, it's pretty big. So I went and snagged some pallets from this pallet warehouse that I found here in Cincinnati. Um, and most of them are free, but if you want ones that are like still packaged, um, they're like $5, I think. And then I just went to a thrift store and just found some, um, I just found some sheets and like a, a little blanket. And then um, the every single one of these pillows I found at a thrift store. And then on Amazon, I just bought um, those two pillow covers in the middle. And then, um, cause I just knew that it was gonna be sitting outside. So I was like, I really don't want to, you know, go spend a lot of money on it. Um, and then the cushion parts, I actually found somebody getting rid of a couch, but I didn't need the couch on Facebook Marketplace. So I just asked them if I could buy their cushions and I bought five cushions because there's one over here that I don't use, but it kind of is nice like as a backrest. Um, but I don't use it, but um, I got them for like $20. So I was like, absolutely. So there's another tire here that I made and I put it outside so it's nice. Blue loves to lay on that if he's not laying up here like a little prince. And then um, I do leave a like old comforter out here so that blue can lay on it comfortably and look down at the street. Um, I did purchase this mesh privacy screen from Amazon and um, I think it was like $20. This is the second one that I purchased. I purchased the first one which was like a bamboo um, and I did that for like the summer but once I got blue he started eating it so it kind of got everywhere and then once like the rain and the um, snow kind of got to it it was starting to like get soppy and weather away so I just threw that out and got this one um, and it just ties with zip ties it's it's actually very durable I really really like it I just I don't really need privacy up here but it is really nice to like sit on your balcony and read a book or drink a glass of wine and people not really looking looking through um, and then these I did get from Bargains and Buyouts. Um, retail, I got them for uh, $50 a piece, so I paid $100 total for them. Um, retail, I think, was like $600. It's crazy. Um, they sell them here at Restoration Hardware. They sell them in gray. Um, but this kind of like this just just fit my whole theme I loved them so I couldn't pass them up and then this small little table here um, I got on Facebook marketplace for five dollars um, and then I've got a lot going on in this corner not really sure what is going on I got all of these fake plants from Michaels and they have just been kind of dying on me not really sure what's going on with it but you know that's okay um, and then you know the door but yeah I really absolutely love my balcony um, this is the um, the nice view that we get of the street uh <laughs> 
so I don't mind to tell you guys where I live because it's post apartments because this video won't be going up until I move out so uh, but we do have a really cute um, park over there and they do have um, it's called the green man twist it's a little ice cream place um, so I, use, I like to take blue out there and then um, down here if you guys can see like right there um, that is my friend Brian Patrick and Marvin's brewery. Um, it's called Esoteric and it's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And Blue's just kind of looking out. So that is my apartment. Um, I have had so much fun here in the past year and I am honestly like just very happy that I was able to experience like my very first move out on like my actual own without roommates. I think that um, Everybody should move out on their own, um, on like their very own without roommates or a boyfriend or something like that and just experience it even just for a year. But I did want to write a review, or not really write a review, I wanted to kind of review this apartment um, as a whole. This is like wobbling because my dog is chewing on the stop. So my overall review of this apartment it's awesome. I would 10 out of 10 recommend that, you know, my friends and family live here. Um, I would absolutely recommend this place to absolutely anyone. I really love it. Um, the apartment is beautiful. It's brand new. Um, lots of people live here and they're all around like the ages of like 21 to like 35. Uh, so it is a really good, you know, like age group to have with you when you are, I mean, I'm, I'm 26. Um, so it's really great. Pretty much everybody here has an animal. Um, most people have dogs, but lots of people have cats and, um, it's just, it is really nice. Now, um, I will say it is kind of in the middle of an up and coming area. So if you guys are familiar with East Walnut Hills, that's where it's at. Um, East Walnut Hills is an up and coming area. I think that um, certain parts of East Walnut Hills are beautiful. Certain parts just aren't so much. Um, I feel like the strip that we are on, um, the street that we are on is absolutely, it's beautiful, I love it. But behind the building, um, it, it can definitely use some work. Um, it's not, you know, it's not really like the best looking thing. Um, so when people kind of are driving up for the first time, they kind of see what they're driving through behind the building and then they're like, oh God, and then they get to my building and they're like, oh, okay, like it's a little different. Um, so I will say just if you're going to move in, uh, be prepared for it not to be the suburbs, Indian Hill, for it not to be Orange County, something like that. Um, it is a very beautiful apartment, but it is an up and coming area. Um, there are lots of things to do around here. There is a hardware store down the street. There's a couple of gas stations, um, and there's also a couple of just like corner stores, like little markets that you can just run into, a couple CVSs. And then there are places to eat, such as um, the Pickled Pig is down the street, uh, the Coffee, or the Fix, which they sell coffee, um, hot chocolate, and alcohol. Um, there's two bar, or there's one bar called Comfort Station, and then there's another, there's a brewery called Esoteric, which my friends just opened. They opened in September of 2020, so um, it's been a really big, amazing thing for them. They sell um, tons, they sell all of their own beer. Uh, my friend Brian is actually the brewer. He's literally amazing as a brewer. Um, all of his beer is great. Um, I'm not a huge beer drinker. I'm more of a wine drinker. Uh, but for him, I go into that brewery and I'm like, just surprise me because I literally love all of their beers. Um, and then they also sell liquor as well. But um, I don't know how much liquor they actually sell. I never go in. I never go into a brewery wanting anything but a beer. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so that's kind of what's going on around the area. Um, physically living here. So I pay um, 10, I pay $1,200 a month to live here. Now, that is not just rent on its own. I pay 1061 for rent. And then I pay for a $45 tech package, a $25 for parking, $25 for my dog, and then I pay for water all included in that. And then I also pay $12 for renter's insurance. So all of that gets wrapped up. It's usually $12.22, $12.25 a month. 
uh, for me to live here. And then I have Duke Energy. My Duke Energy bill is actually very good because it's a brand new apartment. So it's really not that crazy expensive. The most I've ever paid for my utility or for my um, electricity bill was in the winter time when it was absolutely brutally cold and I paid a hundred dollars. It was like 99.86 or something like that. So it is 679 square feet. Um, I know that it doesn't sound like a lot and honestly it's really not but I mean you guys saw the apartment. It's very very open. The ceilings are pretty high and I think just because everything is white it makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is and a lot more open. Um, so my favorite, favorite part about my apartment is my kitchen and I've got this like tiny little snuggly corner with the, um, with the bucket chair and the picture and just, I just love sitting in that corner. Uh, and then the balcony, of course, the balcony is great. Um, I do wish that my room was a little bit bigger. My room at my parents' house was three times the size of that. It was very, very big. I was able to kind of fit everything into it. Um, and then when I moved out with my, uh, two best girlfriends, I had a very, very, very big room. So. I've always kind of been used to and kind of spoiled with having big rooms so it was kind of a culture shock I guess coming into this one but it is no big deal um I would like to since I work from home I would absolutely love to have another bedroom or at least kind of like a little nook to sit that workspace but um you know you work with what you got um I love 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 that I've got an in-unit washer and dryer that is like a lifesaver it's a holy grail product that you should always have um I could not imagine doing like facility like where it's like everything is like you know, you go, you go down the hallway and you pay for your washer and your dryer and stuff like that, kind of like a laundromat, but for your apartment. Um, my best friend Elise does that and she doesn't mind it because she's always done it for that apartment. But, um, I do know that it gets expensive. She always has to have quarters. And, um, so for me, that would be a very big requirement. Uh, the dishwasher, it was the first time I'd ever had a dishwasher before. Um, I grew up in a family where we'd never had a dishwasher. Uh, my mom was the dishwasher, you know, so and occasionally us when we would clean up after ourselves. Uh, so, you know, we always did regular hand dishes um so I had no problem doing that but for the first like three months I lived here I never ran the dishwasher because it was just me I would just wash my one plate or bowl after I used it um I love that the microwave is down here but now that I have blue it kind of does suck because it's he's always able to get into things um uh, I like that I don't really have like to have to have a whole dining room table I like that it's just the bar stools um, and we get to, you know, that kind of is nice. I love that there's an island. I've always said because my parents' house didn't have an island growing up that I really wanted an island. That was like a big thing for me. Um, I love that the bathroom is so big. Uh, it's really nice, but it's also kind of sucks because it's so big to where it's almost like it kind of looks a little out of place because I don't really know what to put in there. Like I don't want to crowd it and it's a bathroom. Like what are you going to put in there? You know, like a couch, but I also don't want to make it look cluttered I don't know it's kind of weird um, I don't want to make it look like it's too minimalistic but not too cluttered so I did kind of struggle with that when I was kind of decorating but um, you know I mean I move out soon so it's no big deal uh, I wish that I had a bigger couch um, when it was just me I didn't mind it I can I like to snuggle up and get cuddled so it didn't bother me but with Zach and Blue on here um, it's definitely not big enough it's a two-seater love couch it's not even an overstuffed love Love seat, love couch, love seat, but um, it worked for, you know, the year that we had it. Um, but yeah, I don't think that there's anything that I will be actually like selling or getting rid of. The bar stools I will be getting rid of, but my parents are going to take those for um, their house out in the country. And then um, I am just going to get rid of the coffee table since Blue has chewed it to bits. Uh, and that's honestly about it. Everything else will pretty much take into the next rental. Um, and I really think that's about it. Now, the thing that I really do hate that um, we don't have here are amenities. We do have what's called a bike room. Um, it's to store your bike. Um, it's a couple of people use it. Uh, I've only seen it open a few times, but um, we do not have a pool. Don't have a gym. You don't have like a snack or I don't know, but you do have a lounge. We do have a lounge and the lounge is actually beautiful. It's got a TV in there. You can make your coffee in there, your tea. Uh, they got a microwave in there, um, tons of like places to lounge. It's got like a garage door. So like the garage doors open up, which are super nice in the summertime. Um, it is beautiful, but it just like, I wish that it had at least a gym or a pool or something, especially because it is kind of like in the heart of East Walnut Hills and you do pay so much a month for rent. Um, but I mean, you know, you, you get what you get, you know, it's a big deal. Um, 
you can are kind of free to kind of do whatever you want here. I mean, it is your own place. Um, it is in the lease that you are not allowed to smoke on the premises. So I personally like that because I don't want to see cigarette butts everywhere. I don't want to smell it. Um, I don't want to smell any other smoke. So I personally love that. Um, I've had a couple, I've had two parties here for my birthday and then my best friend Alexis, I had one for her too. Uh, I've had my best friend Elise and I have just like laid out on this floor and just slept it with our dogs and you know watched TV that night and I've made tons of dips here, I've had people over, like I've just had such a good time in this house. Um, you know I really, I came into who I've always wanted to be. Um, a lot of you might know this or maybe picked up on it, but um, I really struggled kind of finding who I am. Part of me believes that's just because I was so young. Uh, the other part of me believes it's because I am an Enneagram 3. three you're driven by success. No matter what that success is, success in your career, which is for me, um, or successful in your, you know, your family life, your marriage, whatever that is. Mine is personally my career. Um, I've always felt that I am not going to be worthy if I don't have success in my career. Um, but anyways, that was kind of like a little rabbit hole, like off topic, but um, I've just always had these different personalities. I can, I start to like read the room and match personalities. So I think that's why I can get along with people so well, but it also hinders me because it's, who am I really? Um, you know, so being on my own in this, in this beautiful space, uh, being able to decorate the way that I was wanting to, being able to go out when I want to, being able to do A, B, and C, being able to buy whatever I want, have the healthy food in my house, being able to do the things that I personally wanted to do, sit outside of my balcony till 2 a.m., working on my blog and having two glasses of wine, like, it's just, it was so nice. I really found who I am, who I want to be, and the direction that I'm going in my life. I feel so grounded and I feel so settled. Um, I feel so happy and I feel confident. And that could just be, you know, from getting older as well. That was just a perfect time for my camera to just die on me. But um, I just, you know, like what I was saying, I just feel very centered. I feel whole and I feel very happy from the inside out. Um, you know, and I'm just very happy that I did this for myself. Um, that I was able to kind of find my design style. I was able to find who I am and who I want to be and I was able to focus on my career. Um, I was able to pick up that job at Mercy, which is great. I love working for Mercy. Um, I was able to get my pup. I've always wanted a pup of my own and I'm just so happy that I was able to rescue Blue. There's just so many good things that have happened with this apartment and I just feel I just feel good you know I just I just feel I feel very good um, so uh, enough about all of that but um, I just really wanted to show you guys this apartment and give a full review overall I did really like it there are obviously just with everywhere you live there's a few things that you will like and you don't like and you know I just wish that they had more amenities wish they didn't cost so much for you know just such a small apartment but it is what it is. You know, I really wanted to live here. Um, I saved up the money. I had the money every month. I did, you know, I wanted to live here. I wanted to experience it and do it. Um, and I'm so happy that I did. Uh, so if you are looking to book this exact apartment or, you know, be in here, we do have townhomes. Um, they have townhomes that are located downstairs on the first floor and then they have a couple of two bedrooms like elsewhere um they do have, they have studios one studios one bedrooms and two bedrooms um and then uh i last time i checked the um two bedroom townhomes they're beautiful there's like a um there's stairs there's extra storage it's beautiful uh but they were 1700 dollars a month and then i think the two bedrooms are 14 but since they are upping the price, um, I highly doubt that I highly doubt that those are still the prices. Um, but I can definitely link the post apartments um, link down below. That way, you guys can check it out if you are in the Cincinnati area, East Warnet Hills, and you're wanting to live around here. Um, I'm not too far from UC's campus, so that's really nice because you've got a lot of bars and eateries and restaurants. You've got a lot of um, places to shop. You've got a Target up there, a Kroger, uh, so you're not far from a lot of things. Um, but yeah, so I just want to thank you guys for joining me in my apartment tour. So, but I hope that you guys have such a great rest of your week. Um, if you are moving, you know, I wish you good luck because I know that moving can be a total pain. Um, and I just hope that everybody is, you know, really happy. 
turning into like who they are, their happiness, especially after the year that we've had. Um, and thank you for tuning in.